again, everybody. So I'm now going to have a look at question 16. And this is, there are three types of sweet in a jar. And this table gives you some information about them. You're given that a sweet is chosen at random. And the probability is an eclair is one out of 15. Now, the first thing uh, to think about here is what information does that give us? So the fact that we have the probability that it's an eclair equal to 1 out of 15, well, what we know, apologies, uh, what we know is that we have three eclairs and therefore um, it must have been at some point three out of the total number of sweets that are in the jar. So to multiply uh, one by three means we have to multiply the bottom by three and that gives us three out of 45. Now this tells us therefore that we have 45 sweets in the jar because all they've done is they have uh, simplified this fraction here, 3 out of 45, uh, to be 1 out of 15. Okay, so now we know there's 45 sweets in the jar, then we can look a bit further into the question and see how we can work out the probability that it is a humbug. Okay, so therefore, the information we're given is that we have three eclairs plus 2x plus 6 humbugs and plus x mints, and that must all add up to 45. So there we have uh, an equation that we can gather terms. So this leaves us with 3x plus 9 equals 45. And all I did there was gather the terms. And then I'm going to take 9 away from both sides to end up with 3x. And that equal to 36, as you can see. So we've got 3x equals 36. Hopefully you can see that OK. So therefore, that leaves us with x equal to 12. OK, now we know that x is equal to 12 and we know there were 45 sweets in the jar. What we can do from there is we know that 2x plus uh, 6 is going to equal 30 because 2 times 12 is 24 plus 6 is 30. Therefore, for probability, we have a total of 30 sweets out of 45. I'm going to divide and simplify that fraction using a division by 5. So I end up with 6 out of 9, and then I can see it's actually a probability of 2 over 3. So 2 thirds um, is a probability, and you can um, simplify that straight from 30 over 45 if you recognise that we have a factor of 50. Okay.